I am from Mansfield, Ohio. Uh, yes, the prison Sorry. in Mansfield. I just thought you were going to be too Redemption. <laughs> yes, we do have Amish in our hotel. Um, hold on a second. Hold on. This may be important. Hold on. Hello? Yeah, this is Tony Gregor. Y yes, Mom. Yes, I'm here doing... Yes, this is the night I'm doing my routine. Yes. Yes, yes I did change my underwear before I got here. Yes, there are pretty women here at the bar, yes. No, none of them want to marry me tonight and have me move out. Wait, you told me I could, I could stay at your house for free. We'll, we'll talk later. I'm busy. Okay, thank you. Jeez. That what? Wait, what? What the hell was I talking about? Hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute. I forgot something. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot my material. Hey, guys. What do you like? Would this make a great vest? Would this make a great vest? How would you know? You probably shop at that French store, Jacques Penet. So, alright. Has anybody heard about a three legged chicken? How many people have heard about the three legged chickens that are being made now? Three legged. Oh, let me explain this to you. This is great. I've got, actually got a farm, an Amish guy up in Mansfield that breeds these things. I was driving down the road following one of the buggies doing 20 miles an hour, and this chicken comes flying by me. And I'm like, what the hell? So I follow this chicken, catch up to him. He's got three legs. So he starts speeding up the road, and he turns into this barn. And I'm like, i got to find out about this. What the hell's going on? So I go into the barn. There's a guy chopping wood, a little Amish guy. And I said, hey, excuse me. Did you see a three-legged chicken go running through here? He said, yes, I did. I said, well, where'd he come from? He said, I breed them. I said, you breed three-legged chickens? Yes, I do. I said, well, why do you breed three-legged chickens? He goes, well, you see, it's only me, my wife, and my son, and we all like drumsticks. I said, okay. Do you all like drumsticks? Um, so, do you, do you all like the drumsticks? Do you get to eat them? He said, well, we eat them from time to time. I said, well, how do these three-legged chickens taste? The guy said, I don't know. I haven't caught one yet. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I do have a question. How many of you are on Obamacare? Nope. Good for you guys. Um, did you hear that in the state of California, three million people lost their health care due to Obamacare? Obama! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, because of that, two million of those people were so ticked off that they moved back to Mexico. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm guaranteeing you they came back across the border later. <laughs> Here. How many of you people out there love your mothers? Yeah. All right, a cheer for the mom. Let me explain to you guys my mom. My mom was basically a single mom. Uh, my father and her divorced when they, I was 18 months old, so she raised me with my grandmother. Uh, we've got a very close bond. Um, one night, we found out that my stepfather had stage four cancer, and my mom tells me, "I want you to move. Back. I want you to move in with us." I said, "Okay." Well, this was after 30 years of marriage when my wife decided that she didn't want to be a wife anymore. So I moved in with her. Now I am 52 years old, going on 53. I go out with a couple of my friends to go drinking. I came home at 2:30 at night. I'm allowed my own freedoms. I'm 52. I get a knock on the door. Where have you been? I said I was out drinking. Do you know what time it is? 
I said, yes, I looked at the clock when I walked in. She's like, well, I don't understand you coming in this late. I'm like, well, I don't understand you jumping my case when I'm 52 years old. I'm not 15. She said, well, we'll see. Um, I was grounded for a week. <laughs> um, I also had to take the trash out for the next two months. <laughs> um, the other day, now my mom is the type of person, because I drive back and forth from Mansfield every night, if I work a midnight shift, she calls me to check to see if I'm on my way. This way, in case something happens, she knows to call the State Highway Patrol. She called me the other night and told me, are you on your way home? I said, yes, Mom, it's 6 o'clock at night. She said, well, you can make the gravy when you come home. Okay, that's fine. I don't cook. No big deal. I get home. Now, I have to tell you, Sunday we made a nice turkey breast, some sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, and I made the gravy. I am the king of gravy in the house. I turn around. I come in the house. You can cut the tension with a butter knife. I asked my mom what's going on, and she says, Nothing. I said, Are you kidding me? Nothing? Okay. I sit down. She says, I am not going to put you in the middle of this. I said, Mom, I'm not coming home to a better brown. What are we talking about? Well, if you really need to know, Annette, who is a woman she has living with them, took the gravy that you made Sunday and put it in with the dry turkey. Okay? What's wrong with that? I didn't want her to put it in with that. Okay, wait a minute. You ask her to move out because of gravy. <laughs> well, she didn't put it in the right place. She put it with the turkey that was dry, Mom. The turkey tastes good now. Um, what is the problem? Oh, I suppose you want me to apologize. No, Mom, I want you to act, quit acting like a damn child. <laughs> I got grounded for that, too. As a matter of fact, as soon as I'm done, I have to go home and get my bracelet put back on my ankle. <laughs> So how many people came here from work tonight? How many of you have a slave driver for a boss that says, I need those reports done today. That say you got to get this stuff done this evening. That say, I need a credit card. Get me credit cards. Stay available. <laughs> You that earlier today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> collect some money. Yeah. Collect some money. Yeah, I even hear that all the time. As if we haven't collected two hundred and some thousand dollars in one day. Oh no. Randy's favorite. I got And then how about this one? And this is a classic. He won seven thousand for the fourth time. I have a response to that. A1, pick up your damn calls. I can say that now. I'm on the senior side. No, and then and then there's then there's poor Randy. Poor Randy who every time someone new does the collector rankings, they leave his stats out. And the next day he comes up to the desk and says, I don't understand what my stats are. I, I, I need to put my stats on. I, I collected $2,200 $2, yesterday. No, you didn't, Randy. You collected a dollar. It was the other negative $2,300 that came across. I heard a guy. He I heard a guy talking on the radio this morning. I've got a couple minutes, and I want to go over this. Is the last thing we'll talk about. We were talking about different kinds of cars. He was talking about different kinds of cars. He's talking about doing alternative energy. People are talking about a nitrogen car. Yeah, that's great. Remember the Hindenburg? That's all I'm going to say about that. 
But then they're talking about a helium car. Can you imagine if you get a helium in your car? Road Rage would have a whole new story. Get out of your car. I'm going to kick your ass. I need it. I'm really going to kick your ass. You shouldn't have cut me off. Yeah, about that time I would end up on my ass in the hospital. But other than that, you guys have been a great crowd. Thank you very much. Nicely done, Kevin. Nicely done. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, listen up, please. Listen. Please listen. Thank you. Uh, the, the comedians tonight are not getting paid. They're doing this of their own free will. So I ask for one thing. That's when they're up here on stage, you give them a little bit of undivided attention. Now I'm